great to see you back here competing once again in the Standard Chartered Dubai Marathon. Good to be uh, back. It's good to be back. And last year you had a terrific race. So how are you feeling going ahead in, into this particular marathon? Um, I'm feeling quite good. I've had a, a few changes since last year. Um, some new wheel types and some uh, new push rims and I've been making new gloves and I've also got a new coach. So um, some quite good changes from last year. I'm feeling fairly positive. You never know what's going to happen on the day, but um, I'm hoping to, to have a good race. And what are your targets then this year, given that you say you're feeling in pretty good shape? Well, I've never gone under two hours for a marathon, so I'd really like to go under two hours. Um, I'd love to win the race. Um, depends who else is on the start line, and I haven't actually seen the full start list yet. But um, I'd really like to, to get the race win and get under two hours. I'd be very happy with that. Is two hours a sort of a landmark time it in your in your discipline? Yes, it certainly is. Um, there's, there's quite a few guys who've gone under two hours, but there's not that many. And it is, a, like you say, a big landmark um, time to get under for a marathon. And coming into this particular race, as you say, the changes, have you got ambitions? What, what sort of, where do you, apart from getting under the two hours, sort of team-wise, what are your uh, ambitions over the coming months? Well, unfortunately, I just missed out on getting selection for the Paralympics and for the Worlds last year. Um, I really feel like I've stepped up my game this year um, with the new coach and everything like that. So um, I would very much hope to get selection for the Europeans, uh, which is in Swansea, the glamorous location of Swansea, um, in the summer this year. So that would be my goal for this year, really. And come, the new coach and the new equipment do you feel, does it make you feel different? I mean, have, has it really given you a new sort of zest for the sport? Um, I think so, yeah. And I've been working with some really good people. I mean, my coach is Jenny Banks, who's the um, GB wheelchair racing coach. Um, I train a lot with Hannah Cockcroft, who uh, is a fairly famous wheelchair racer, lots of gold medals. Um, and I think just the additional structure on my training program has really helped. Um, and I, yeah, I think it's seen a lot, shown a lot of improvement. So hopefully that will... Uh, give fruit in the race tomorrow. Well, I'm talking to you in glorious Dubai sunshine. Yeah. The weather, it's an early start, I mean, it's a, and it's a flat track, so it, conditions should be pretty ideal for this sub two hour time. I hope so, yeah. And um, they've changed the course slightly from last year, but um, I did it four years ago, and I think it's a very similar course to that, or three years ago. Um, so yeah, it certainly bodes well for a good time. I mean, the roads are flat, and uh, I think it is the best chance of getting this good time. I get the sense you're really up for this. You're looking uh, forward to it because I, I remember so. talking to you last year. You were sort of a few things weren't niggles and things yeah. weren't quite going right. Yeah. You seem to be in a really positive frame of mind. Yeah, no, I'm feeling good about this year. You, you never know on the day. Um, last year a big mist came in and it made it uh, very slippery on the push rims, which uh, made it difficult last year. But hopefully we'll be all right this year. The weather's looking good. Well, best of luck for, for Thank Friday. You. Thanks very much.